today's video, I'm out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina. I am touring the Pharaoh. This is the Pharaoh, you guys. The Pharaoh is really cute and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into the video. All right, first things first, we're gonna start on the exterior of the home. This model home has been here for a while. Think of the colors that you would choose for this home, whether it's the white with black shutters or some other color, but it's a cute little home. Uh, it's very cozy. Uh, it's really light and bright. Um, and really the exterior of the home does have curb appeal. You see you have a back door here, um, transom windows, uh, on the back of the house really lovely so I just wanted to walk around as usual per usual and let you see what the exterior of the home would look like uh, there are a lot of people that still get the vinyl skirting so if you're thinking about brick or concrete blocks for the home just imagine what it would look like um, with those features on the exterior overall a good-looking house um, again, it is on the smaller side, so this would be perfect for someone uh, who doesn't have a large family. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside of the house, but I do want to put the floor plan here first, just to show you that there are options or different options for this home. So that's something you want to consider as well. So as you enter the home, as you can see, there's an open space in here love the color of the flooring is similar to the one that we have so i always love it because i feel like you can match the core all types of decor with this particular color flooring um, and it goes well with different color furniture as well so this is your living room you guys again this house is really cozy but for the, with the right size furniture and the way you decorate will make the difference you really could add uh, a love seat maybe put the back of the love seat uh, where you create an entryway from the doorway like a little hallway i think it would be really cute and then you could put the tv where that sofa table is so really nice uh living room for the size house um and i think that with those big windows it will really be nice and bright we're always showing uh larger houses uh, for big families, but it's always nice to tour the smaller homes as well because there are a lot of single people or empty nesters or uh, people that uh, have decided to downsize that are looking for homes as well. And sometimes those big homes is just too much house, you know what I mean? So I love going in the smaller homes, even the smaller double wides to give you guys an idea of what is out here as well. Cute little kitchen, I will probably add an island. You can purchase an island uh, to add in there, but you got lots of, counter space, lots of counter space. Love the big window and the sink there. And I love the fact that you've got the stainless steel and black appliances in this home that go well with the darker cabinets. So really nice, lots of space in these cabinets. Enough cabinet space for the size of this home. Again, this would be a home for someone that doesn't have a large family. So you got lots of counter space in here for this home. And I absolutely love, love, love. I don't usually like the dark cabinets, but I love this color cabinet. So really nice. So as you can see, that's the size of the refrigerator. You've got all Frigidaire appliances in this home. This particular model has uh, one of the regular size refrigerator, but it's lots of space in there. Um, it doesn't look like you have room for a bigger one, so that's something that you want to consider um, when you're looking at the home. A lot of times you will have space to get whatever size refrigerator you choose. I do love the fact that there's a pantry in here. I would put additional shelving, maybe one more shelf, uh, just so I have enough space for all my storage items and appliances. But you can either put a, make this an eat-in kitchen, 
or you can add an island and put some city in there um, just two options for you now off the kitchen you do have the laundry room so let's go take a look at your laundry room so here's your back door you got your laundry room there and you got space for storage above the laundry room so that's really nice really really nice you've got your AC unit right there as well as your breaker box and it's open to the kitchen So now we're going to check out the additional bedrooms off the living room. You've got additional bedroom number one. Uh, if I have the uh, room sizes, I'll put them on the screen. But this is your first bedroom. Uh, you can also use this as an office if you only need one additional bedroom. You've got a regular closet in here, but you've got space for storage on the floor as well as the ceiling. So really nice and um, you got a large window in this room now next to the first bedroom on the other side of this wall you've got your second additional bedroom looks like it could be slightly larger it may be the way it's shaped but it looks like it could be slightly larger so if i only needed one bedroom i would probably use the first bedroom as an office and make this my spare bedroom another regular size closet in here but again You've got storage space for the, on the top and on the bottom as well. So really nice. And then off this bedroom, you've got your additional bathroom here. This would be for guests and as well as um, whoever used those additional bedrooms. You've got a transom window over the tub and shower combo, which is always nice brings in a little additional light. The only thing I don't like about this bathroom is I really prefer bathrooms that have a window. If we could do it all over again, that's probably what I would have made as a preference to make sure that we had windows in the bathroom. But I still love my home and you can always work around that. Now we're gonna check out the master, nice size master. You got a large, big window in here. You got space for a queen or a king size uh, bed which is always nice and your closet is actually in the bedroom which is a plus so you've got a walk-in closet in here you're just missing uh, shelving I will bring the shelving around to that wall there but you've got lots of space in this master closet it looks to be about the size of my master closet which um, I love the size it's not too big and not too small and then the master bedroom you've got two sinks uh, lots of storage under the sinks and you've got another transom window over the tub shower combo so that is nice it used to be my preference to have a separate uh, tub and shower but you know, I really wouldn't mind whether it was a tub and shower combo or not. It'd be less to clean. This is a nice deep tub and I love that you have adequate space for your personal hygiene products in here. Your, um, you have double sinks, which is always nice. And you also have space for additional storage. You can put your toiletries or your, uh, personal hygiene, additional personal hygiene products in the storage space and not even have to worry about like how to make it work with those two cabinets under the sink. So that is absolutely wonderful. You've got space for towels and washcloths as well. So it's that's just a plus for me. I see towels and washcloths and uh, hand towels in here. I see personal hygiene. I see uh, extra toilet paper and uh, just whatever you need hair products just whatever you decide to do in this storage space so that is always nice we'll take one more look around the master and then we'll go and see how much it costs
for viewing this tour. Again, we're at the Pharaoh. It is a Fleetwood home out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina. Forgive the sweat. It's hot. it would be hot out here. The home only price, $82,035. Three bedroom, two bath at 933 square feet. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.